The Young Engineers Satellite 2 is a 36 kg student-built tether satellite that is part of ESA's Photon M3 microgravity mission. The launch of the Russian Photon M3 occurred on September 14, 2007 at 1300 by a Soyuz U launcher. The project was carried out by Delta UTECSRC and supervised by the ESA Education Office and was nearly entirely designed and built by students and young engineers. The YES-2 deployment took place September 25, 2007. The mission objective was to deploy a 30 km long and 0.5 mm thin tether made of denema in two controlled stages, in order to release a small, spherical, lightweight re-entry capsule called Fatino into a predetermined trajectory to a landing area in Kazakhstan. The scientific objectives of the mission have been achieved. The YES-2 featured the first multi-stage tether deployment. It could be reconstructed within about 20 meters accuracy for the first stage, 3400 meters and 100 to 150 meters for the 31.7 kilometers deployment as a whole. The first stage was deployed accurately, about 10 to 20 meters error. The second stage overdeployed by 1.7 kilometers. Fatino released as planned during a swing of the tethered system through the vertical as seen from photon. The tether properties, deployment dynamics and tether deployer system performance could be evaluated. The tether deployer performed nominally. However, due to an electrical fault, the onboard computer failed to register the final length correctly and only a partial deployment was initially reported based on telemetry available in real time. Initial deployment friction was found to exceed the nominal range, revealed by post-mission testing to be most likely due to a thermomechanical settling of the tether spool some weeks after mission completion. Analysis of the full data set confirmed that the tether deployed to its full length of 31.7 km. No signal was ever received from the Fatino re-entry capsule after separation, and it was lost. YES-2 established a new world record as the longest artificial structure in space and was later included in the Guinness Book of Records edition 2009. The YES-2 project Most of the work done in this ambitious project like design, manufacturing and integration was done by students and young engineers. In total some 450 students participated. Soon after the beginning of the project, four centers of expertise were created. These were universities which were responsible for parts of the satellite or subsystems. The centers were, Samara State Aerospace University, Russia Mission Analysis, GPS, University of Modena and Reggio Emilia, Italy Reentry Capsule, Hochschule Niederrhein in Krefeld, Germany Tether, University of Patras, Greece Mechanical and Thermal. Coordination and system engineering was carried out by prime contractor Delta UTECSRC from the Netherlands. Towards the end of the project, in the manufacturing and integration phase, the work concentrated on the Delta UTEC office in Leiden and ESA's ESTEC in Nortveik, where the satellite was built and tested. The test program included electromagnetic compatibility testing in the Maxwell EMC test chamber, simulation of space environment in a thermal vacuum chamber. Vibration testing on a shake table. Functional tests of all components and subsystems. The satellite was handed over to ESA at the beginning of May 2007 and was shipped to Samara, Russia, soon after, where YES-2 was mated to Photon M3 for the first time for test purposes. Afterwards, YES-2 and Photon were separated again and brought to Baikonur, Kazakhstan, by train, where the whole satellite was completely integrated and mated with the launcher, a Soyuz U rocket. Photon M3 and YES-2 finally launched on the 14th of September 2007 at 1300 from the Gagarin launch pad at Baikonur Cosmodrome. The main contribution of the project has been the demonstration of a complex controlled deployment in two stages. 
Post flight, several independent sources of deployment data were collected, including deployment length and rate measurements from YES 2 itself, as well as highly precise triaxial accelerometer data from a separate experiment on the photon carrier spacecraft. These data confirmed that the deployment did progress mostly successfully, in particular the critical first stage and stage transition and the tether deployer performed nominally. The data that has been recovered has helped to understand the deployer performance and tether dynamics in yet unseen detail, including explicit signatures of sound waves, transverse waves and spring mass motion. The small re-entry capsule Fatino, intended to demonstrate the spacemail concept, was not successfully recovered. Calculations based on YES-2 sensor data indicate that the landing site should be in or near the Aral Sea. Alternatively, the capsule, experimental in itself, may have burned up or crashlanded. Topic: <laughs> Design of the satellite. There are three main components of the experiment. Floyd, the YES-2 deployment mechanism located on the Photon spacecraft. MASS, the mechanical data acquisition and support system. Fatino, a small spherical capsule, with a diameter of 40 cm and a mass of 6 kg. YES-2 mission design During the flight, the Floyd mechanism ejected the other two components. There was then to be a controlled deployment of a 30 km long tether. Orbital dynamics caused the Fatino capsule to be positioned in front of the mother spacecraft. By bringing the deployment to a halt, a pendulum-like swing was induced. When the capsule and tether swung through the local vertical, the tether was cut. Since the capsule was then going too slowly to stay in orbit, it has entered a trajectory to re-enter the atmosphere from an altitude of about 250 km, protected by a heat shield made of novel materials. Once it reached an altitude of 5 km, a parachute was intended to deploy to ensure a soft landing on the steppes of Kazakhstan. Since data from the Fatino was not downlinked and the Fatino capsule itself was not recovered, it is not known how well the capsule has survived the entry. See also Tether propulsion Tether satellite